Mm. Hello, hello. Good morning. Claudia, can you hear me? <laughs> yeah, can you say good morning to me? <laughs> How's it going? To the group. Whoops. <laughs> they'll they'll come in soon. They'll probably find their way slowly into the video. How are you doing this morning? I'm good. What about you? Good. It's uh, really cold though. Like I just hopped outside. Um, yeah, and uh, for those of you who don't know, we're in Sydney, Australia, both of us, and it's freezing today. It's like torrential rain raining sideways. Yeah, it's. Um, I'm gonna stay home and not leave my house all day. <laughs> yeah, it's not fun. I'm thinking I might jump in the sauna later, mm. but I'd like to get some exercise done. I don't know how I'm gonna do that. Just run in your living room. Run yeah. Spot. Yeah. You're we've fine. got some people, we've got Tina and Sue saying good morning. We've got 12 people watching us live. Uh, guys, if you're here, comment, let us know that you're here. If you're watching the replay, comment replay. Uh, we're going to chat to Claudia today, who's one of our patients. And she's about halfway through her treatment. It's about halfway, right? No, Six like weeks, a month. Yeah. yeah. Something like that. Um, and we're going to hear a little bit about her story and what she's been struggling with. So Claudia, why don't you introduce yourself and tell everyone maybe what you do, um, how old you are and what kind of brought you to us? Yeah, cool. I'm Claudia. Um, I'm 22 years old. So I connected with Marco cause I was so tired and I was fatigued and experiencing a lot of gut issues and Marco wasn't actually the first nutritionist I connected with. So, yeah, I connected with him and I was like, can you fix me? <laughs> and I was just so tired. And he was like, when I spoke to him, what he gave me was pretty much hope with all the issues I was experiencing in the last, I'd say, three years. Um, yeah, and we just, yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> hope, hope is a big one. A lot of people, when they come to us, they generally, I'm like the last line, um, right? And it's hard to get them to understand that there is a way forward because mm. they've usually tried multiple things. What did you try before you you made your way to us? I could write a novel, Marco. Um, I tried low fod map. I've tried like spe specific carbohydrate diets. I've tried like... Um, antimicrobial protocols. I tried an Ayurveda doctor. I've been to like two naturopaths before you, Marco, and um, I've seen like about eight doctors. Mm. And people were like, oh, you're just imagining this. Oh, you're just stressed. You're too young. You're just too young to be experiencing any of this. I'm like, and yeah, I was like, maybe I am imagining this. Because when someone tells you that you're imagining it, you're like, am I just making this up? Mm. Um, because all my results were showed I was normal. So I was like, maybe I'm just am imagining this. But yeah. <laughs> <laughs> That's that, you know, the idea of, are you sure you don't have anxiety? Are you sure it's not all in your head? Mm. Um, usually it happens because the practitioners that you're working with, usually you know, doctors, especially general practitioners, don't really have the training um, mm. to dig deeper. And to a normal, like compared to the normal population, you are quite healthy. Mm. And I'm also young as well. And they're like, there's no way you could be experiencing this if you're that young. And people, because I was getting these symptoms when I was 18. And mm. I don't know, they probably thought I was partying too much, <laughs> which was Tina, not Tina um, says, oh, the you're too young. Lol, tell that to my body. I'm assuming Tina has a similar story. Tina, you can let us know in the comment section. We'd love to hear it. Um, but a lot of young people have uh, similar symptoms. Yeah. Right? Then, like it's... It's a very different world we live in now. Yeah. And also I was exercising. I barely ate anything like gluten, dairy. I didn't drink like five coffees a day because I know a lot of people experience fatigue. They're drinking a lot of coffee. I wasn't partying that much from 18 to like 21 because I didn't have any energy. All I wanted to do was sleep. Like that was my yeah. favorite thing to do was to sleep. <laughs> yeah. And I was like, maybe I just hate people. <laughs> yeah. Maybe I'm introverted. Maybe I don't have the energy. Yeah, but sometimes when your system isn't working right, that's all you want to do is sleep, like all your basic survival things, right? Um, when you started with us, it's funny, like the first line we, ha we have here is, wants her life fixed. Um, <laughs> I was like, I'm dying, I want my life fixed. And you're just like, calm, calm down, stop being so dramatic. Yeah, 
yeah, we looked at uh, bloating at the time. Uh, you felt like you were allergic to everything, having um, reactions to pretty much all the food that you were eating. You weren't even sure what it was. Uh, yeah, I was like, I would say I would get bloated after eating a salad with no gluten or like no dairy, you know, like um, feta and stuff like that, like cheese stuff. Um, I was like, what on earth is happening? Yeah. 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 And sometimes it's not the food. Mm. Sometimes it's actually your nervous system being too ramped up and no matter what you eat, it's going to be difficult to digest it. Yeah. So we sure. really have to find the right thing. Tina says, yep, I have chronic fatigue on top of a lot of pain issues. Uh, autoimmune as well, uh, chronic responsive inflammatory CRPS and Hashimoto's. I get to talk to you tomorrow night, Michael. Yeah, I think I have a call with Tina tomorrow morning, my time. It'll be the best call ever. ever. I talked to Mark, ever. the call was like, I am going to get fixed. Mm. <laughs> I was like, there's hope. Um, yeah. You know, the only reason I, I can do that is because I've done it myself, right? Mm. Um, it's very easy to be confident when like I practice what I preach and everything I prescribe, I have either done or I'm currently doing. There's nothing mm. that our patients will do that I haven't already done. Yeah. Um, and when you do that, you can instill confidence in other people. And the first step is obviously to have some hope and to, to calm you down and to be like, Hey, you're not dying. Everything's okay. We're going <laughs> to get you I was back at the first cover of like, wow, I was pretty dramatic. It was like, I was like yeah. I'm dying. I just feel like I'm going to die. And I think I asked in the first call, I'm like, why do you do this? Because I also want to know, like, I felt with the past um, practitioners I work with, they haven't gone through it. So they were just Mm. prescribing me stuff that I didn't feel like they knew what it felt like to be going through what I was going through, um, if that makes sense. Yeah. Why you do this is a really important one. Like, I used to do this stuff for free. Matter of fact, like you work in a similar kind of business model with your work. Um, I probably do like, I I don't know how many free appointments I would do per year. Mm. Probably in the multiple hundreds, like 300, 400, 500 free appointments per year. Those people Mm. never pay me a dollar and they'll walk away with knowledge. And if they implement it, it'll work. So just want to help people. Right. Yeah. Um, so what have you learned so far about yourself in the in the four, four to six weeks? Yeah, I am very malnutritioned. Um, mm. I was very malnourished. And I had no clue of this. And it, it shocks me that I work with how many people and no one's t- It was the first time I ever heard of this when I worked with you. And it makes sense um, because all the protocols weren't working because they were treating my gut, but they weren't treating the fact I had no energy, right? Yeah. And I... I guess like after six months or like eight months in with other programs, I just gave up because I was like, I'm on the strictest diet and I still feel like shit. Um, Whereas about five, six weeks into this, I feel a lot better. Like I actually have energy. And one of my friends was saying, are you feeling okay? Because I feel like I've seen you a lot these past few weeks. (laughs) That's how much I want to like hang out. My friends will never see me because I just want to sleep. Yeah. You never, you were never social before that. Yeah. I was like, yeah, I was never social before. Um, but I legitimately did not have the energy. And now, like, Saturdays, I can do stuff. Um, mm. It just shocks me how much I was able to perform the last couple of years with no energy. <laughs> like, I'm you actually know, sure. and, and imagine how much you've already achieved and how much you have, how much potential you have to fulfill. Like, if, yeah, you've, done it, if you've done it running on empty, what are you going to do now? It's crazy. I'm like, I, how did I survive the last three years? Because now that I've got energy, I see that I was exhausted. Because um, I'm starting to wake up again with energy. Because I would wake up like in the morning, sleep eight hours, and I'll be exhausted. I'd be mm. like, oh, because I worked a lot last night. It's like, no, because I was eating any, like, I was having no nutrients, pretty much. Yeah, what was your diet like? Like, what were you eating before? I was eating pretty clean. Like, I'll be eating like chicken, like rice, vegetables. Um, I couldn't say I ate anything like too bad. Probably ate a mm. lot of dark chocolate, but nothing. Um, not but it wasn't like- a terrible diet. Like it's not your standard Western diet of McDonald's and mm. muffins and cereals. So you were relatively healthy, but yeah, you um, relatively healthy. Didn't have too much sugar. Um, I would say I avoided like gluten and dairy already. 
Mm. Yeah, I wouldn't have gluten and dairy, but like certain stuff in like sauces, I'll probably have it and I wouldn't realize. So I've like cut that out completely. Um, no gluten and mm. dairy. I think that's, no gluten, sorry. And I think that's made a bit of a difference, even though it's just like in the sauces and stuff. Yeah, people don't realize they think they're doing gluten free. Mm. And then we do an audit of what they eat and we find it in multiple different places. Um, it very much is hidden. So gluten's everywhere. Yeah. Like, literally, it's everywhere. That's just eat at home. <laughs> yeah, it's, it's um, pretty much everywhere. And I'm also eating red meat. Because yeah, that, that was a big one. I don't. <laughs> what happened with the red meat? Um, what happened? Uh, we did some blood tests. I was pretty deficient in everything, everything. And you're like, you know what you could eat that has all of those nutrients, red meat. <laughs> yeah, it's funny. You said to me, like, I remember going through it. You're like, okay, so which supplement do I take? And I'm like, steak. <laughs> like, what are you eating? Steak. And it was funny. I was shopping for groceries yesterday because I was doing my meal prep. I wanted to, like, go straight to the salmon. And, like, I walked past the red meat. I just heard Marco's voice. You need steak. <laughs> need steak. Sometimes you do. It's honestly like the most common nutrient deficiencies we see are protein, iron, zinc, B6, B12, um, all of it you can find in good quality red meat. Now, I'm not saying like, again, don't support industrial farming. Get yourself grass fed, get an organic, like pay the extra dollar if you really want to. Um, and it's also healthier, but I think everybody needs to be eating some red meat and some people more than others, especially you, right? So if you've gone deficient this whole time, so now like I messaged you today, I said, how are you feeling? And you go, I'm feeling great. I have so much energy. It's yeah. only been a few days. It hasn't been long, maybe a week. Yeah. It's, um, I'm surprised at how much energy I have. I, mean, I always feel bad. Like the world, everyone's, the world's panicky. I'm like, this is like the best period of my life. I always feel bad. You know, speaking of that, it's really what you make of it. Mm. Like, I know that sounds woo-woo and mindset and everyone's like, oh, it's mine. But it, this is the time when more millionaires are made, more billionaires mm. are made, more athletes improve, more people get, you know, they fix their health, they fix their body, they fix their finances. This is the time when all that stuff happens. When everything is comfortable and everything's going great, you don't really yeah. stop to reflect and go, What's, what can I improve, right? Yeah. It's when shit hits the fan, then you go, uh-oh, I need to wake up, especially with health. Like health is so fickle. Mm. You could have it one day and the next day it's gone. And yeah. everyone's like scared of picking up Corona and everyone's scared of their immune system. Well, it's, it's one of the cases of if you take care of it and if you had already taken care of it, you wouldn't need to be so afraid. Mm. So hopefully it enlightens people and wakes them up a little bit to, to be more proactive about their health. Um, so we've got, Many people in our pipeline wanting to work with us. Like we, we had six new applications over the weekend, we had 140 group members last week. We've got Tina booked in tomorrow for a call. What would you tell them? <sighs> Do it. And you should be lucky that this is available to you because honestly, if I had this available to me three years ago, I would not like, <laughs> I would have suffered for three years basically. Right. Um, it's just take the first step. Cause like the, Scariest fin is probably like the first call. Um, and then after that, it's just mm. do what Marco says. <laughs> we'll just do everything Marco Scott says. One of the things that um, stops people from doing this type of stuff is finances. Like mm. a lot of the time it's it's finance. It's either they're not sure whether it'll work or it's finances. Yeah. Um, how much money do you think you could have saved if you started oh, this process? Easily. I can't even tell you how many tests I did, how many supplements I bought, how many like specialist appointments I did. Like I, when I say I tried everything, I did a juice fast for 30 days. I did like celery juice because I like, I did everything. And it's like, none of it, what's more frustrating is it never worked, right? So not only was I spending money, but like it didn't give me like a return. So I was mm. like, and yeah. Um, but your health, like you can't really put a dollar of value on that. Right. Yeah. 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 I mean, I preach that a lot, so I'm, I'm going to leave that one alone, but 
Um, for people that are wondering, like if you've been spending, if you actually add up how much money you've already spent uh, or how much you will spend if that autoimmune condition or the diabetes become, become, becomes a serious problem, it's going to be mm. tens of thousands, if not hundreds of thousands of dollars. Um, so what I consider to be a small investment into a treatment program, um, I think it's well worth it. Uh, so finances are the thing that's stopping you from getting your health in order. You need to start thinking about what you value and uh, becoming resourceful and actually prioritizing health, like putting mm. aside a budget every year to go, I'm going to buy a bit of food. I'm going to buy more vitamins. I'm going to invest into something this year, even though I don't have a problem, I'm going to be proactive with it. Yeah, um, for sure. I think that's a mindset shift that people have to have. Yeah. And when you also put money into something, you get a return because there's, you have a commitment to yourself. Like when you, you give Marco money or you give someone else money, it's, there's already a commitment there and you'll go put in the work because you paid someone. If it was free, people don't do it. Like how many people have left your consult, Marco, and haven't done anything, even though you've given them like a protocol or something to do because they haven't paid you. Right. Oh, I give out some of the best stuff for free. <laughs> yeah. And yeah. that's why I don't think I ever reached out to you for free resources because I'm just the type of person that if it's free, like it's a PDF, I won't read it um, because mm. I haven't spent any energy or like invested anything into it and I won't do it, right? Yeah. But if I pay someone, I'm going to do it because <laughs> I've invested something into it. Yeah, you've got skin in the game. And it keeps you motivated. You know, you, you make an yeah. investment, you're more motivated to do the work and it keeps mm. us motivated because, you know, we feel valued. Uh, mm. Otherwise, if your practitioner or whoever you're working with feels undervalued, very likely they don't want to be doing the work. Mm. So, yeah, it's a, it's a fair exchange and it's all in the goal of getting you better. Like the person who benefits most is the patient. Mm. Always, right? Um, cool. Any uh, Any last thoughts or any questions from the people that are watching live if you want to drop them feel free um but anything else no you want to um, add nothing i'm just excited to get my dna results mm. <laughs> yeah we're not even halfway through we've got so much work left to do with you um yeah. like we've done bloods we're, we're doing a microbiome down, kit like, whoa <laughs> yeah we've got a lot we've got a lot left to do so three months, you're about one month in and we're already seeing a huge difference, which is mm. why I wanted to get you on this call. Normally we wait until like the third month to get people to do some form of testimonial, but you're killing it already. And it's also a testament to your commitment, right? Like we guide you and then you do the work. So mm. good work, proud of you. I just listen to you guys. <laughs> <laughs> awesome, cool. well thanks Claudia. Thanks everyone for checking in and uh, we'll chat soon. All right, talk See soon. Ya. Bye. Bye.